Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Pinky. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. This reading is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's look into what you can expect for this month of October 2022. How are you guys doing? I am very excited. I hope you guys are as excited as I am. This is my favorite uh, time of the year. If you guys do celebrate Hallow's Eve or Halloween, comment below. Let me know what your traditions are. What is it that you guys do for this celebration? Or if, in fact, you celebrate. If you don't, that's okay. There's no judgment here. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages for Cancers? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for this month of October 2022. Give us four cards to represent the element of Earth, Air, Fire, and Water. The messages for Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this month. What they can expect. Allow us to see clearly and concisely. All right, here we go. All right, so with the element of Earth, we have here the Page of Wands. Very exciting news is coming in for you guys in regards to your career and finances. Perhaps you're feeling a little bit more motivated. For some of you guys, it is working on a new project, a new endeavor that is coming up. Definitely take this opportunity because it's going to excite you. It's going to create that spark, especially those of you guys that have been feeling a bit disconnected in your career. This is definitely going to feed your soul and excite you. So definitely take on this new endeavor. It's going to bring a lot of um, excitement in your life, and it's going to get you out of the routine that perhaps you're used to. Now, when we're talking about the element of air and communication, we have the Knight of Cups. So there is definitely passion that is unfolding for you for this month of October, Cancer. With the element of fire here, we have the Four of Wands, and this is your challenge. So again, initially I felt like there was a need to take on the pursuit of new endeavors. Why? Because this is going to motivate you. This is going to raise your vibration and keep you excited about life, right? And kind of forget about the routine. Now, as a challenge, the Four of Wands is challenging us to, it's good to be stable. It's good to have a routine, but sometimes we can fall into the routine and it, instead of helping us, it kind of throws us off because we get a bit bored. So what they're telling you here is there is an, a bit of a need for spontaneity in your life, cancer. So again, if you get opportunities or invitations, definitely go take the chance, take the plunge, um, put yourself out there. It is perfect timing for you guys to be a little bit more social. This is going to bring to you a lot of opportunities, not only that, but new experiences that are going to be very exciting for you. Now, when we're talking about the element of water here, we have the six of wands. Like I said, a lot of passion. We have a lot of fire energy here. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Um, and what they're saying is, for those of you guys that have experienced a bit of stagnation in love and romance, it's definitely going to be picking up this month of October for you guys. I do see someone coming towards you, asking you out or asking, uh, giving you some type of invitation. If in fact you get an invite this month for a wedding, definitely put yourself out there and go. Don't sit on this invitation because there is definitely uh, a person that is coming into your life that is going to, you may actually meet someone at a wedding this month. So if you get invited, definitely take <laughs> definitely take advantage of that and put yourself out there. It's a lot of opportunities to meet and to mingle. Um, for others of you, there is celebratory type of energy. For some of you guys, it could be taking it to the next level if you are currently dating. So again, Keep it exciting. Keep yourself exciting is what they're telling you for this month. Follow your pursuits. Follow your passions. It is very important. Sometimes when we forget that we are humans and that we need passion in our life, it kind of diminishes our um, it diminishes our light. It kind of puts us in, like I said, a routine where you kind of feel disconnected or you get bored. And what they're telling you is you need to spice that up. And the only way to do that is to fully take opportunities that are showing up. So for this month of October, set yourself up, uh, make up your mind about deciding to make it a habit of saying yes instead of no's. Why? Because if you're getting invited and it's like, oh, I don't know if I should do it, 
by you saying yes, it, whether you meet the person, the person that's going to be uh, very meaningful in your life, or whether it is an experience that is going to change your perspective on certain aspects of your life, either way, it's bringing to you that burst of energy that is necessary. So take advantage of that cancer. All right, let's see what Spirit's message is here. What is Spirit's final message for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, so we have financial constraints. For some of you guys, uh, you've been dealing with a bit of difficulties in regards to your finances and career. As you guys can see here, like I said, there is something that is unfolding for you guys where more opportunities are coming your way. So definitely take advantage of that. Why? Because it's going to progressively assist you and help you to open up the doors towards more stability as well, especially at work or with your finances. So I wish you guys the very best. I hope it gives you some type of insight and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye bye.